Hi guys, what's going on? It's Scarlet here, and I'm back, um, in college, so you're probably going to be seeing videos formatted like this a lot, either that, or in the case of Wi-Fi, I am likely, um, not going to be narrating those, just because I'm trying to do it when my roommate's not here, and the most convenient times, I, I don't know how that will work. So you're likely going to be seeing a lot of this, um, which is okay if you like this style more, but um, that's just kind of a general thing. So we have week four of, um, I'm so sorry, uh, Pokemon Generations League season 13, I believe, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that at all, um, but yeah, this battle took place, I think, Two days ago, a day or a day or two ago, I, I forget. But yeah, I'm very excited. I prepped a ton for this battle, um, just like the last week's battle. Um, and I've kind of like I've taken notes on like specific ways how to team build, what you should be looking out for, and just kind of reworking how I how I play the game and not really how I play the game, but how I prep for the game, which results usually in. Play. So, that all being said, let's move on to this battle. Um, just looking at my opponent's team, this is pretty much what I thought he was going to bring. Um, I thought he would bring uh, Vivalon as his Terra, but I prepped for both uh, Medicham and Vivalon. Vivalon was a bit easier to prep, so I'm very glad um, Medicham did not come, but I think it makes a lot of sense Medicham doesn't, just because, I mean... You got Tusk right here, which kind of beat it, and, it, and it's kind of forced to go Terra Psychic, and if that's the case, it's Green Tail, which is it. So I completely, completely understand why I think some, uh, but yeah, that's why, yeah. So, biggest threats was Weavile, for sure, that thing outspeeds everyone on my team. I had to, um, I had to use two Scarfers, uh, Tauros and Great Tusk, just in case one went down, or an accident, happens or misclick or you're not checking damage calc and um, you don't check if an item's gone and you click knock off and then that mon doesn't die and then you get revenge killed. Something like that happening. Uh, it's really good to have another Scarfer so it kind of let me uh, play a bit with mistakes in mind where it's like if I mess up then it's fine. Obviously I can't do this in most leagues because most leagues have an item but this league doesn't so perfectly fine to do that, but just noting. So, lead options. What am I looking at? Uh, I want rocks up, because I want to put Iron Moth in check, I want to put this in check. I want chip damage on shit, um, especially Vivalon, if Vivalon's not running boots, then that that's a free 49-50%. Um, if it switches in, or something. So, that was kind of my, my play, um, that's why I went I'm turning the music off. For the, for the... So, um... Yeah. So let's, without further ado, let's play. I'm gonna put this one really slow, actually. Just, I wanna narrate as the game goes. So, right here, obviously, I'm bringing up rocks. He's gonna make the, the double to, to Earthworm, just to, I assume, get rocks up. I'm gonna turn this to slow. Um, I kind of can just stay in, I'm not really that scared of like an Iron Head or something because I'm pretty much max defense on this. Um, I'm pretty sure Baton Pass is is legal, that's why I, I did that. Um, I also want to just get rid of this thing, I don't really... It kind of just fucks up Great Tusk and if this is gone I can kind of just spam Headlong Rush. So that's why I doubled the Gudra, which is my best thing for knocking this out. I believe I didn't have... I might have had Super Fang on, on uh, Grafefe, but um, I don't. I, that's the only way I can damage it. I, I can't use, like, uh, low kick. I, I didn't bring low kick on this, so. This was my best way of damaging it, which kind of sucks considering Iron Moth. If if this is, like, Quiver or, or Scar. I, I don't know if they can Quiver, but Scar for, or something like that. That's kind of. Putting me in, in check of, of Iron Moth, just kind of revenging me or, or something, but uh, a max HP AV Gudra, so should be fine. And then Body Press comes out, which doesn't do much because it gets reflected. 
Um, here you can kind of just stall out turns, which is completely fine. I reveal Flamethrower, which I think is pretty obvious good in my, my double. It actually lives. It was a roll, I believe, in, in his favor. I, I forget. Um, but again, he can just protect here, get uh, this down to, I believe, 0 or 1 or something. Uh, I click Ice Beam just in case he wants to make a, a really dumb double or something into like Caxorus or whatever. And then right here, you're going to see me click Flame. I think Flamethrower. Yeah, just in case, again, he makes a, a dumb double after seeing Ice Beam revealed. So that's why that did that. Haxorus comes out. This is forcing me to make a double back to Scroomtail, which is uh, easy to not die. Earthquake comes out. I don't think he was running Poison Jab, which is really weird. This also might have just been Scarf, but very, very weird. I was very scared of like a Bandit or, or a Life Orb, so really interesting. Uh, he can just go Iron Moth, reveals no boots, and uh, Cork Drive or whatever. I reveal Dazzling, try and knock it out. I don't want to deal with this. Uh, I'm a hard double into Gudra, who is very fat. Um, Substitute comes out, which is very scary. Luckily, Gudra lives. I did not check the roll because obviously I, I survived. <laughs> if I died, I probably would have for sure checked the roll, but um, we live, which is really, really good. Uh, and I ran EQ so that I can, you know, do a ton of damage on this. And this was kind of my Gudra check. Luckily, he doesn't get another boost, which would have been very troublesome, but, um, comes in, or out comes Great Tusk, so before I click the button, I think you can assume what button I clicked, um, the reason why I clicked it was just in case Vivalon decided to double, or Spiritum comes out, or, or something like that happening, when I check the calc, that killed, and then obviously it did not. I think that was a max roll too, which just makes it even sadder. Um, yeah, I I didn't EP for it without an item, so that one's on me. Um, he could just click whatever he wants here, and and it okos, right? It okos. So right here, I could just bring in Tauros. I can really just kind of do whatever I want with this. I can Terra, um, but I'm just gonna click Jet get the knockout. I, I don't really need to care that much. Now he, he could go back to Haxorus, and Haxorus kind of threaten me. Again, this is Scarf, so I'm forced to switch back into Screamtail. And it D-dances, which is very scary. Very, very scary for a Haxorus to just start D-dancing. Um, but again, he did not put Poison Jab, which is very strange for a Haxorus, considering Screamtail is you know, screen tail, so, um, I can just get the reflect back up and then start spamming Dazzle or anything like that. Uh, screen tail's use was to wall, uh, Haxorus and Weavile, but at this point, Tauros can kind of carry from here, so I don't really care that much if, uh, screen tail goes down, so, he's just gonna spam EQ, so, that's a free kill. And one I will gladly take. I think now he goes, uh, Weavile, or... No, he goes, uh, Spiritomb. Gets the knockout. I, I don't really care at this point. Um, so I'll get the damage because, uh, for Tauros, I, I don't remember what... I, I don't remember if it was a roll or not, but I knew it, it was going to do a ton of damage, so. I go hard Tauros. All I have to do is Terra Fairy. Flick, uh, Terra Blast. I don't believe, I don't remember if Tauros gets player off, but I put, uh, if it did, then the main reason I put Terra Blast was just, so. Uh, here comes Moment Truth. He's not Scarf, so it's obviously a KO. And uh, not Boots, so again, KO. So we're gonna pick up a 3 0, which is really nice. I waited on the GG's. Um, I know you can't see it, but he said GG. I waited just just in case some shenanigans or something, but um, Yeah, that's gonna be game. I'm really happy with how this team performed. I believe it was what uh, Taurus picked up three 
Uh, I know. Uh, Taurus picked up four. Guja picked up one. And. I forget who killed Haxorus. Maybe it was Taurus. Maybe Taurus just did Taurus things, but... Um... Yeah. Um... Or no, Screamtail. Sorry. Uh, yeah. That's week four. Really happy. 3-0. Uh, which puts me 2-2 two two plus 0. And that puts me fifth, which is not playoffs. Unfortunately, so next week... Um, I have a chance if I, I believe if I win, I'm in the playoffs as of now. Uh, right now, I, I believe I control my own destiny, so if I win my remaining games, I believe I, I make it no matter what, but next week is very important. School starting up again, so I don't know how much of my new and improved team prepping I can really do, but we'll just have to see. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. You don't have to, but it makes the world to me. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap up this. Have a wonderful day, and peace out.